Hi, my name is Sophia Sioka, and this is Sarah Kladke and Melanie Moan. When we came together as a team, we realized we were all huge self-improvement nerds. We loved setting New Year's resolutions and long-term goals. But we also all shared a common problem, which is that we didn't have a single repository in which to store all of our long-term goals. Not only the goals themselves, but any resources or memories associated with those goals, as well as a way of visualizing them over time. So to solve this problem, we designed and built Align, a dynamic web application with a beautiful and intuitive interface for setting and managing your goals. Our stack includes Firebase on the back end for things like database storage, cloud storage, and user authentication, and React on the front end. So let's follow a user named Kate. This is what she sees when she logs in, her personal timeline of goals. Each goal is represented by a line, and on each line, you'll see symbols representing milestones and check-ins along Kate's journey. Kate can zoom in on this view to see a more focused view of her goals with more detail, and as she zooms, the key below will show the entire view with the current view in light gray shading for context. Kate can also add goals from this screen, as well as click on existing goals to edit them or view their contents. And here's Sarah to give us some more details. Thanks. On this page, Kate can edit information about her goals. She can choose the associated color, edit the start and end date, and add some rich text notes to record what she's thinking. One feature we're really excited about is the resources section, where Kate can save links she's found along the way for future reference. Similarly, she can upload photos and videos to document her progress. When Kate returns back to the timelines view, she has a few additional editing options, as you'll see in a moment. Let's say that Kate wants to add a new milestone to her finished Grace Hopper goal to represent Demo Day Live. She simply clicks on the line that's associated with that goal and adds a milestone. Milestones have many of the same features as goals, including notes, resources, and uploads. Our idea was that goals in our application should be a central hub of information, not just for the goal itself, but for any of its associated milestones and check-ins. This means that if Kate adds any resources or uploads to this new milestone, we would want to display them on the parent goal page. This presented us with a problem. We needed a way to get information up from milestones and check-ins to their parent goal. Because we're using Firebase as our backend, we solved this by flattening and denormalizing our data structure to allow information about resources and uploads to be efficiently downloaded in separate calls. Now we can display resources and uploads wherever Kate might expect to see them. And when we go back to the goal page, you'll see that the new resource and upload that Kate just added are displayed there. So we're going into the goal page. And here we are. Now I'm going to hand it over to Melanie to talk about some of the challenges we faced when implementing the front end of our application. On the front end, we used React to render the data we receive from Firebase into flexible, reusable components. The interactive graphics that represent each goal were built in Victory, a data visualization library based on D3 that we chose in part because of its compatibility with React. Victory provides a set of basic components that we then combined into a React container. The user interface on the dashboard is smooth and streamlined, but building it presented a number of technical challenges. Each individual goal line actually consists of a set of several SVGs, representing individual points in time, but also related metadata, like the status of a goal or a milestone. Elsewhere in our application, we used Material UI for consistent design across our different pages. But integrating Material UI with the victory graphics on our dashboard presented another set of challenges. In order to anchor the Material UI popovers, for example, onto our graphics, we had to rewrite part of the Material UI library so that the popover action was bound to the user's click. This way, the action is more intuitive, and again, the appearance is seamless. In the end, we found that building a line presented a really satisfying combination of design questions and technical challenges. We had a blast both building the application and using it to start managing some of our own goals. If you want to do the same, you can check it out on align.fun. We hope you find it fun and functional too. Thanks.